Hello, 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 YouTube. This is a short impromptu video um, comparing the recently released uh, vintage latte from uh, Chilio with the real vintage <laughs> uh, with the Chigliodoro um, in gold. At least I suppose it's gold. Um, so on first, well, on first sight you see a few things that are absolutely sim similar like the contrast stitching um, also the gold hardware here we have the gold Krauser rings in the latte it says Krauser here very nice uh, rings also we have gold hardware a gold button and here a gold stud at the front and in the Gigliodoro we also have gold hardware but it doesn't say Krause. Um, I have no idea what brand it actually is because it doesn't say so but they are very very sturdy and I've never had any problems so I'm I don't know maybe Krause didn't mark their rings in the past or they are a total brand altogether that's possible too. Um, so, of course, the old one also has gold hardware, you see here, and it says it's the Prim, Prim, original Prim stud, and we have the gold button here. So, there were some, some people on, in the Facebook group were saying that the new vintage wasn't uh, closing, the button wasn't closing so well, or too hard, or, no, it was loose, I think, and it popped open on its own. I don't have any problems with this one, so this is just normal. So, what else can I say? I was amazed at the structure of this one, uh, the new vintage latte, because it's smooth. And as you know, I'm a sucker for smooth uh, <laughs> planners, for smooth leather. And also, you see here those lines, um, well, I, I call them stretch marks, and I... It's a nice word, I think, stretch marks. I also heard somebody say it uh, or call it um, fat stripes. <laughs> it doesn't sound too attractive, does it? <laughs> so I prefer the stretch marks. Um, and I think they're very nice. So this leather here, it's even more smooth, see? And here it's got a little bit of pebbles. And the clasp here, or the strap, I have to say, it's a little bit more pebbly and also it's a little bit lighter, well, maybe not lighter. It's got a reddish hue to it, I think. And it also goes very well with the fly leaf, which is a little bit more reddish or lighter than the rest of the planner. I'm going to show you. I don't know if this shows. See? I can see it. So now you might ask, what about the fly leaf in the old one? Well, it didn't come with one. And the reason for that is I bought this Chigliodoro from Luxacadoches in Amsterdam. And they used to throw out <laughs> the leather fly leaves in the early days because they thought nobody was going to use it. So I thought that was a rather funny story. Also, I never really miss it because I, I don't care if there's a fly leaf or not. But I think nowadays where people are really into the fly leaves, uh, it would be a problem. Um, actually, it goes well with this one as well. See, it's a bit lighter, but again. So this one was sold as being gold, also was marked on the box in the coat for the gold epoca leather and um, it has darkened quite a bit it was a bit lighter when i got it a few years back i don't know 2014 i believe um not too much but it's if you compare it with the new gold uh, planners you'll see that it's a lot darker i really love this color so as for the feel well, this one is very peply and, and wrinkly, very supple, see, really very, very bendable. And the leather smells awesome, <laughs> really leather shoppery. 
This one has a very nice uh, scent as well, leather scent, much better than uh, many of the new ones. But since it's not really broken in yet, um, it, it's not as flexible and bendable yet. I think it will be after some use. I also imagine that this one will get a beautiful shine once it's a few months or years old. So, so also on the inside you see the contrast stitching in both. Uh, here we have an extra stamp saying genuine calf leather made in Italy, which we don't have in the new ones. And here it says Cilio Compagna, whereas the old one was Cicliodoro Compagna. And other than that, I'd say about the same. We have on the inside brown, uh, I don't know what, what, what did we call it, sky leather, the, some sort of artificial leather. And on this side some reddish fabric, light brown, well it matches the color of the planner. Same as here in the back, doesn't show really well, let me try if I, well that didn't help did it, so now the color's gone. <laughs> and here in the inside we have the brownish here but here we have the fabric is not matching its beige or cream or whatever and that crunch you just heard was from my dog um in the back we have the light brown as well right so a huge difference of course that we have is this is a plain strap whereas the old one has the cushion see this here it's a little bit of a cushion here and the reason for that is to avoid the forming of the dot so uh, despite many years of use this one is dot free this will not manage to be dot free so i think it, it's not only the strap to be honest it's also a bit how uh, how, how dry your hands are or how, how much oils you have in your hands. So I usually don't have dots on my planners anyway. But uh, for people that um, have maybe not this dry uh, skin, it might be, well, either a problem or something that they will embrace. Yeah, so I think they did a really good job making these. They look terrific. I really love the contrast stitching. This is beautiful. Look at this. And see, well, those two are very similar in color. I expected the latter to be much, 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 much lighter. If I compare it to the pictures on the website, it should have been three uh, years lighter. Um, but I still love it. But I think that the espresso or mocha would be even darker. I don't know, so maybe I just got a dark latte, <laughs> I don't know. So, yes, this was my little comparison. If you have any questions, please ask them in the comments. And this was it for now. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.